particular uh, like uh, platform we will use to create our MySQL database. Okay, so this is available on cloud. Uh, if we will do in local setup, then whenever we will deploy our application on local, we will able to do testing and everything. But once you will deploy on cloud up, like from cloud up, you will not able to connect with your local MySQL server. Okay, but this remote MySQL server will give you your MySQL account on cloud. Okay, so that will be accessible throughout the internet through anywhere. Like uh, so. Anywhere you will deploy your Mule application, either in local or cloud hub, it will be accessible from both of the places. So that we will see this remote MySQL. So first, how to create account? Go to this browser, type here remote, and that is uh, Clever Cloud. Labourcloud.com. This is the website. OK, here you need to do sign up first. OK, so you will give your email ID and you will define your password and then you will click on this by clicking this. I have agree. OK. Whatever question answer is there, so you can give all this. OK, and then once you will complete the sign up, then you will do login. OK, so I have already account, so I did. I am giving this uh, email address and password and click on login. As I mentioned this uh, account is available on. This uh, server is available on cloud, so you can access from anywhere. OK. OK, now once uh, you will create your account, so here I think. So here you can see I have already many organization. OK, but this time I'm going to create new organization. And this organization will be like. Uh, you can give a J. OK, description also it keeps saying. Not, not a company, then billing address. OK, so to create organization, you need to give organization name, description, and other detail given that and click on create. So it's creating one organization for me. OK, so. You can see this organization got created. OK, once this will be created, then. You will get uh, here. Once, once, let me see again. So create, click on this create and then add add on. OK, so you need to select this option. Okay, so here you can see these all are like uh, application or server they provide. OK, so we want this MySQL one. OK, select this MySQL one. Here you can see they have multiple uh, like uh, subscription, so we will take free one. OK, so free one is this one day one. Okay, select day one. OK, and then it will give us 10 MB data only so that is fine okay and nothing else no click on next
okay and then click on next so you can see here this got created now you will able to see so your mysql account got created this is the host this is database name username password port this is connection url so you will get everything here this is your connection detail to connect with from your any points to do if you want to see then let me do it quickly so where is database that is not here okay, okay my sql will not be here so you can search from that is sort of issue okay fine okay let it be we'll test later on So this credential you can use to connect with uh, this MySQL server. Now, where you will create table and all. So for that, you need to open PHP My Admin. It's loading. Okay. So here you can see information schema is there and another schema is there. So we will use this schema. Okay. So we are inside that particular new schema and here you will be able to do everything so you can create table you can insert data everything like what you can do in php my admin everything you will be able to do here so that part we will see later on once we will start our project then we will see how to create object and other thing or sort if you want to see go to sql and then you can write here query so i think there is another way also to create table and all so create database and then inside this database yeah you can create table without writing query also you can create from here detailed discussion we will uh, do and see later on 